to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 17. So today we're just going to continue looting, uh, keep on going from where we left off. As you guys can see I have my shotgun on me and pistol and we're actually looking for more ammo at the moment. We don't really have a ton of ammo. Uh, one or two zombies, two. Yeah, that should still be okay to jump in. Okay, we gain a little bit of stamina. Let's just loot this as well. I'm actually wearing goggles at the moment that should help with the loot quality. They are dead, thank you. Okay, so I just want to show you guys this. I'm wearing these lucky goggles. It actually helps with the loot bonus and buried, uh, buried treasure. So we're just going to look for as much loot and stuff as possible and then see what we can find today. Also, I want to go loot that... Where's that place now? Uh, the apartment complex over there. But I think I'm going to wait until we have the iron tools because then we're going to be able to break through the walls and the doors and stuff a lot faster. It doesn't help going there with a stone axe and then losing all your stamina just breaking open a few doors. Okay, so what is next? Do apologize if you hear some background noises. Ooh, there's a store over here. I wonder which store this is. And once again, I'm going to make as much noise as possible going in because we want to level up. So even if I have to fire a gun, I want all those zombies to come for me. Ooh, nice. There's a paper mill over here. Oh, I want to thank uh, Daniel Schooley for pointing this out. But apparently zooming in and firing, uh, zooming in actually takes stamina. It takes a lot of focus zooming in like this. So that's why it uh, actually depletes your stamina a lot faster. I didn't actually really notice it until he pointed it out. So instead of doing this, I should actually just fire normally. But sometimes I just can't get the hang of that aiming. Thank you for my stuff back, and hello lady. There is a snake where she is, so I just need to be careful. Is the snake still downstairs? I don't want to go into this place and then have a snake coming from behind. Okay, let's see. My gamma feels so damn high. I know it's not really that high, but it feels like it. Okay, so this is a working stuff and a poppin' pulls and a mole. Nice. Oh, wow. Only two shots. That was weak. Okay, so he's going to be a little bit tougher to take down. And it doesn't help that I keep missing my shots. Shoot you down. Level 11. Thank you. I still think I'm losing wellness every time I hear that sound, just because I'm used to Alpha 16. Players new to this game will think, oh, I'm just leveling up. Okay, so, uh, paper mill first, or should we do the shops first? We should be able to do all of them today. Apparently the paper mill is very good for resources and XP, so... I actually feel like we should do that one first. Okay, so what is in here? I didn't actually get to make a ton of noise because of the fact that the zombies came to me. Okay, so uh, let's try the working stuffs first because just now we find some good tools in there. And then after that we can try the mole over here. And also, I should probably get some wood, because we need to make a drop chest. Especially after we clear this place, we're going to need the chest. We're going to need the space. That is 10. Just enough. Okay, we graph that. We're going to eat this. Scrap that. And we don't have any water. I need a water so uh, source close by. I almost said water source. Okay, so, let's see what this holds for us. I should actually first check the roof out because they're going to fall. As soon as I start making noise, they're going to fall off the roof. Okay, so let's see how many I can attract by making noise of you. Come on. Hello. Yep, quite a few. Nice. XP, XP, XP. Let's just hope I don't overheat of you. Well, I am overheating, but let's just hope I don't die from the heat. I should probably do the drop chest now, since we're going to need the space, and being encumbered actually also takes stamina. First off, let's just kill these zombies so we know we're safe. 
it's a bad habit of mine aiming in like that or zooming in. But I mean, it's so much easier to hit them when you're zoomed. Only problem is when you miss them zoomed in like that, it actually is a pain to zoom out again. Or to get away from them, rather. My screen still feels a little bit stuttery. I think it's my mouse, but I don't know which settings are going to correct it. I don't know if my mouse is too sensitive or not sensitive enough. Okay, is there more zombies close by? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, so we're first going to do the drop chase quickly. Just so we don't have to worry about space. And then we can actually drop everything. I hope we find some water in the machines in there. And then again, beer. Nope, doesn't give you any water or anything back. That's going to suck. You know what? Um, are there zombies over here? Nope. They're all sleeping over there, so I can actually quickly stealth them. Come on, come on, come on. As soon as you're up. Dead. Nope, still not dead. Come on. Oh wow, three shots and you're still going. Nice. See, zooming in is especially nice if the zombie is very far away. Sure, it drains your stamina, but that's the only way you can actually really aim properly. And zombies, make sure you're not zoomed in with a bow. Remember guys, if you can't move fast, you're either crouched or zoomed in. I could have sworn I just heard something outside of here. Okay, so let's quickly see if we can take these guys out. There should still be zombies on the roof. I mean, look at these guys still coming, even though a ton of the ones inside already came for us. You know your mouse is bad when you have to pre-zoom pre the head and then just walk into it to actually aim properly. Those miniature moves or the minuscule moves I can't do properly. Okay, so no zombie over here, no zombie over here. Make sure this whole place is cleared out before you start looting the chests over here. Two shots. Three shots. No other zombies in here. No other zombies in here, just want to make sure we get everyone. And then the door was broken down, so let's just place this over here for now. As you guys could hear, there was a zombie that just fell down from somewhere. Hello. Okay, so let's see if we can get them to open up over here. There should still be a few sleepers in there as well. None. Wow. Okay, let's just quick hit this one first. I wonder if they broke through from the back. It seems like, it seems like they're coming around. Ooh, stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay, it seems like they're trying to break through now. What was with the delay then? There's still one outside. Where are you? Are you it's, uh, oh, for a moment there it sounded like one of the crawlers. It was just a business guy. I should actually see if I can turn a few of the visuals down. I have everything like reflection and stuff on top quality because I want top notch videos. But it seems my system is taking a little bit of strain at the moment. I wonder how long it's going to take for them to actually fix the performance of this game. I mean, the fact that my system is lagging just shows this thing is not optimized. Okay, now all of them should die with one hit from this. Thank you, and please give me some ammo. We need ammo and guns. Eh, three ammo. At least we're not using our ammo yet, so any ammo we get now is actually a bonus. Please tell me there's water in those over there. And then this is empty, empty, empty. Nice. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to break these open. See you guys now. I seriously need to work on my stamina a bit. It feels like it's taking forever just breaking through these few uh, chests over here, these crates. Oh, nice, the engine. Everyone always struggles so much to get that engine. And yeah, I get it just like that. Also, let's just put that one over there. I don't want to use too many. 
Uh, is it going to take more than one? Yeah, it seems like it. Damn. I wanted to uh, spare a few of these. Repair? What's missing? I know I'm using the right thing. Okay, anyways, let's click finish looting over here. But like I said, now we have an engine. A lot of people struggle getting the engine. They always get batteries, 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 but never the engine. So I can't wait until we're able to make our cars. And then also, speaking of, let's just quickly check our skills over here. Block that so no zombies can follow us in and stand on the ready with a gun. Okay, so we have two skill points. Let's see what we can spend that on. Oh, wow, I can actually already get the forge and the grease monkey so we can make our bicycles. I didn't even realize that. Damn. See, that's why you should always keep an eye on your skills. I didn't even notice that I could actually almost make a bicycle. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to break through the rest of the chest in this whole place and then also repair the stone axe and I'll be right back. Okay, and this should be the last shot. Nice, thank you. I completely forgot that my skill was actually upgraded, my intelligence. So now we can actually make way better tools over here. Uh, I want to show you guys. Yeah, inter intelligence, intellect, craft, fine quality items. So I completely forgot about that. As I was making, an, or rather repairing my one just now, um, I noticed that I can actually make this stone axe, so why not make a better one? I wonder if we have enough iron in that chest to be able to make a better iron club. Ooh, nice, another engine. What's with my luck today? Okay, so quickly going to loot this. And then we're going to loot the front of the store as soon as this is done. Uh, was that an arrow? Two arrows, nice. Bonus. Okay, so that is the middle of the store. I've noticed a lot of people don't loot the toilets anymore. I wonder if you don't get ammo from them anymore or if people just ignore them. Because on Rimmer and Alpha 16, you could get a ton of guns and ammo from these toilets. Okay, so I was actually hoping for a fire axe or something from these chests, but thus far I haven't found anything in these crates. So let's hope one of these crates actually has something awesome in it. So these are empty. Still have to loot two of these. This one, and then the one in the other corner. Fire axe, a great quality. If we can get some dye, we can actually make the damage go up. I don't know how that works, because I mean, it's just dye, it's just coloring the thing. But apparently that actually makes the damage of the uh, the weapon or tool, whatever you're coloring, go up. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, just grab your items. Yeah, that was fast enough. Now I just need to check the roof. So at least we got a level 2 iron pick over here. Let's just drink some water because I know we're out of water. Yep. And then out here. I don't see any zombies. I shouldn't actually stand on this because, I mean, a zombie can easily make it go boom. But for now, let's just quickly do this. Why can't I repair this? It's not showing... It's not giving a reason. Oh, I can't access this thing. I wonder what's wrong. Fire shot. Repair. For some reason, just like the other day, I couldn't take my, I think it was a hunting rifle, off my belt. And just now, the same. I first have to use it to be able to repair it. Anyways, anyways uh, let's quickly drop these. I don't have enough iron, damn. I thought I might have enough iron to be able to make a better club. Okay, so, oh, I'm using my steel arrows at the moment. That's a waste. I thought I had my other arrows on me. Okay, so for now, let's see. The damage of a year. Uh, block damage, 60. Block damage of this one, 21. So this is already way better. So we're just going to do this for now. Uh, nope. Just move these up a little bit, and voila. Okay, let's quickly do this paper mill before the time runs out. I should actually do the pull shop first. But I want to start from a corner and then work my way in. Uh, just want to make sure that this snake over here is gone at the moment. I know there was a snake here earlier. Okay, so it slithered, uh, slithered off. Nice. Now we can focus on zombies without worrying about a snake coming from behind. I just hope there are no dogs or ferals in there. But then again, it's a maze kind of thing, so there should be ferals at the last stage. Hello. Bye-bye. And as you're standing up, get the last shot. Oh, wow. Three shots. Nice. That was a tough zombie. Make sure there are no zombies hiding at the back of here. Nope. And uh, nope. 
Don't want them surprising us from the corners. Make sure there's no holes in the roof so no zombie can fall in on you. And also make sure all doors are closed. Bullseye. One shot. Now I should be able to kill him with one shot. Nice. I just need those shots to connect. Does, uh, they don't always connect. Next skill I should actually put into stamina. So my stamina is way too low and way too few at the moment. It's so damn hard aiming properly with that thing sometimes, especially when their heads jiggle like this. They look like those bubble head toys. Okay, so, come on. I'm, I know I'm still using my proper arrows. Um, I'm going to use them for now, and then if I get more, I get more. If not, then I'm going to have to use my stone arrows at the top. I mean, I can't believe I'm using steel arrows, and these guys are so tough. It's like steel isn't a problem for them. Okay, that's one arrow. Come on, give me my arrows back. Nope. And uh, nope. Okay, so I just lost quite a few arrows. Ooh, nice. Duffel bag. Gun, gun, gun. Nope. Thought there might be a gun in there for me. Okay, so no zombies. Let's just look around the corners as well. Make sure there's nothing around here. Okay, so we need to go up to find more zombies. Just to make sure there's nothing hiding around the corners for us. Okay, jaws. I also need to find a water source. I wonder if I've actually walked past one. I am very close to the water source. I should actually quickly run. I mean, it's right here. We need the water. You know, let's just first complete this, and then we're going to grab the jars from the tool store and then go. I wonder if any zombie heard me just now. You do not want to draw too much attention, but you want to blaze through this place fast enough to get to the rest of the building. Okay, now that was a waste. That was a power shot to something that didn't require a power shot. Okay, vultures. Hello. Nope, miss. That was a bad shot. Come on. I know as soon as I go outside, they're going to get me. See, they're trying to get me, but they just can't reach me. I wonder if I should go outside, if that's the required path, or if I should go back into the staircase. Damn, this thing's flying erratic. Okay, so there is a zombie on this side. That means I should be up here. But I'm just not a fan of that vulture flying around so close by. And it's flying in such a pace that I can't really shoot it. Ooh, hello. Two shots wasted, but oh well. Okay, so there's nothing on this side we can go into. Wait, 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 what was that? There's a bag over there. Okay, so we need more water. I drank one jar, but we still need way more. And it seems you can actually go in from this direction. Let's just quickly loot this. Okay, toilet, come on. I need some guns and ammo. I think they took it out of the stash. I mean, it fit there, but they took it out. I should actually switch to my stone arrows so I don't want to waste my steel. But just now we come across a tough zombie and then I'm going to uh, regret the fact that I switched. Okay, so there should be zombies in that area. Yep, right there. Don't want to use my gun yet until we come across ferals. One shot. Zoom out and then hit. If you can't switch your weapons, guys, just check that you're not zoomed in. It has happened so many times to me already where you think you can hit the zombie... And then you're surprised because you don't know what's going on. It doesn't want to swing at the zombie. But meanwhile, you're actually zoomed in with a bow. It especially sucks when you want to switch to like a pistol or something, but you can't. You're not fast enough. Okay, so since this... No, that's not... That might just be something. Yep. I'm going to say there can't be something because it's a one layer thick, but it's a little bit deeper in. Okay, so let's try not to make too much noise over here. Uh, we're going to take all the clothing and come across. And please tell me there's some glasses here somewhere. 
Okay, nothing. That was empty. It's not supposed to be empty. I wonder if I have any coins in that chest. We might be able to buy some water over here. And let's go up. Just edge my way in here. Don't want to make a sudden move and then have zombies on me. Uh, bunker Buster Schematic. I'm actually looking for schematics for extra spaces, extra slots and stuff. Hello there. Let's just close this door quickly. I should be able to kill him before any zombies help to arrive, uh, arrive to help him. <laughs> help to arrive. Come on, hit. Oh crap, that was bad. I'm gonna get hit, hit, I'm gonna get hit. Oh no, he died. Whew, that was close. Just goes to show, if you miss that one shot, it's gonna screw you over. Okay, so there's a cooking pot in here. Let's just quickly take our time looting this place. I don't know if there's any zombies in here still. You can always check up at the roof just now. There's a hole somewhere. It's in this, oh, come on. Don't waste your stamina now. Ooh, there's something behind you. Uh, wood, so we use the fire axe. Now, what are these? Do you, how do you pick them up? Is it possible to even pick them up? Okay, so I should actually make myself some more bandages, but we have nine left, so that shouldn't be too necessary. Come on. And there's a ton of cloth in this place, so it wouldn't be a problem gathering the required cloth. Okay, so this is all empty now. And let's continue. Okay, now I need to keep my eyes open for some vultures over here. We don't want to get more vultures than us like earlier. Doesn't seem to be a vulture left over here. I wonder if all of them came after me earlier. And there's another secret thing over here. Let's see if we can loot this from over here. No, it's one of those chemistry station things that you can't pick up. Doesn't seem like there's any vultures up here. Running might be a mistake, but I don't see any vultures, so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Technically, if you're really in a rush, you should just... Oh, hello there. Um, if you're really in a rush, you should just stack up against this place and then go for the secret loot on, uh, on, loot on the roof. But it's not always going to be on the roof, so that's a risk you're going to take. Especially if there's tough zombies upstairs, you're going to struggle. Okay, come on, give me some guns. Uh, we're going to sell those. I mean, I could scrap them for mechanical parts, but we're not in any need of mechanical parts at the moment. That doesn't go anywhere. Come on, give me water. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to break through this. Be right back. Okay, so let's see what we have over here. Ooh, nice. Meat stew. I'm only going to use that when my food is really, really low. Uh, nothing over there. Gun store box. Come on, ammo, ammo, ammo. Yes. Well, there are a lot of uh, hunting rifles over here, but I'm not going to... I don't know if I'm going to use these. Or if I'm just going to save the ammo for, like, a machine gun or something. Okay, we need more water. It stopped. I don't want to drink it too soon. As soon as that stops, I'll know if I can drink one or not. I don't want to waste water. Okay, so rotting flesh you can throw away. And that should be it for the roof over here. Just want to make sure that I didn't leave anything behind. I mean, this thing on the floor over here is just one of those stations you can't pick up, I think. If you guys know how to pick those up, just leave a comment down below, please. Because, like I said, I don't know whether you can, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm crouched. From I thought I'm so encumbered, I can't jump. Okay, what's up here? I don't think there's anything extra in here. Damn, there's a lot of mosquitoes in my room at the moment. I'm actually lying on my bed and recording these. Okay, so let's quickly go downstairs. Oh, hello. Didn't notice you there. There's something. Oh, it's... The one that's connected to the top. Just quickly going to drop everything at the bottom. Oh, hello. That could have ended very badly. I hope we got all the rooms, but it seems like we got them all. Okay, let's just make sure we drop everything we don't need. Um, first, let's modify. Ooh, we can't. Those are too low quality to modify. So you have to do this. Either scrap them. 
or just change the ammo type on them to get the ammo out. Uh, did that go now? Yes, it's on the wrong ammo. So then it gets added to your uh, amount of ammo of yeah. And then we can actually also modify this one and voila. So, so for now, we're just going to put everything away. Uh, I'm going to put these over here. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run and see if we can get some of these jars filled. I mean, we have 80 jars. Damn. Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to fill these jars and then I'm going to grab all of these, take it back to the base. And then next episode, we're going to continue with a full stop over there. It's still early, so I should be able to get back to the base and do some wood chopping as well, because we need way more wood and stone and stuff. Especially since my steel arrows are about to run out. Anyways, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What did I miss? Uh, what do you guys think of this episode? Leave those comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.